Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, re, lo, so, fuck, oh, no. Hello everyone, my name is Stonesy Boy, and welcome back to Find Love or Die Trying. The game where we have to find love or die trying. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Dating show for a week. Doki Doki Literature Club. You love to see it. Anyways. Uh, we love Violet or something. It is the least I can do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know? I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise around what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We talked for a few moments longer before retiring for the night. For once, I lay in bed, not worrying about being killed. Once I decide about what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here. I. Stickle here! Allie, what are you? Never mind that. We gotta come down to the lab. What is it? We found something, and you know you want to see it. She reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. The other girls are already there, crowded around the table with a pile of folders on top of it. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab and I stumbled across these. They are our files. I didn't read any ones but my own. I have to warn you. Caution's the last thing on all of our minds. Most of us scramble to find our own file, except for Yui, who is already holding hers in alley. Weird, there's no file for me here. I double check, but there's nothing for me. Guess they're not getting my answers today. Riley slowly walked to the pile, found her own, and opened it to a fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? Alley Major, sent to the island being suspected of committing treason against the government. Selected for an experimental show for fitting the sporty girl archetype. Gee, we needed one of those. Ah, ha! Ah, it's good to know the whole get up is a good idea. Did you know I actually fucking hate sports? I never seen Allie look so angry. Let's see. They are the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. Yeah. What is it? They've been talking, taking extremely detailed notes on me for every single run of the show for the past two years. What I've done, things I've said, I'm private. Or with others, they've gotten notes down here for how and when I brush my teeth. How I react differently when they change the show or tell me different things or... We're nothing but lab rats to them. Hey! I caught it! That's the episode... That's the name of the last episode! Hey! That's why that song came up. That's epic. Mm. It's true. It's blue and it's my fault. What do you mean? If I had invented this machine in the first place, none of us would have ever happened. You couldn't have known, Scarlet. If you really wanted to help people, it was a good, a great thing. It's not like his fault for ended up using invention like this. If you say so, Stickles, you hear? My father says that I wipe, that they wipe my memories, put me on the show to make sure that no one else could build this technology. I can't even begin to understand how I could even be the reason for causing all this. I'm not sure we even want to understand the people who run this place. Room fell silent. We wanted to crack the joke to ease the tension, but it was impossible. Thank goodness! Wait, what? I'm surprised to hear you say that, Yui, if all things considered. Ah, oh, sorry! I know I've been sounded sorry, guys. Mine's the same as always. I tracked, measured, and commented on how many things about us, how many times it feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came on the show, Stickles, you here? No, why's that? Oh, I forgot I wasn't allowed to tell you what was one of the conditions. To be completely transparent, the reason was money, and nothing but that. It was hard enough to take care of myself without my parents letting alone two brothers and a whole farm. I remember now, it was Kat who reached out to me. She told me that if I came onto the show, my brothers and the farm would be taken care of for life. I know they're all horrifying, but I'm glad she held up her end of the deal. Even on my dad here, I never see them again. That's too, That's too depressing to think, Yui. We're doing to get out of here and see your brothers again, together. Thanks, stick us here. I'd like that. I'm curious, Yui. What kind of archetype does the list you as? Huh? The girl next door. Damn it, that sounds a lot better than gaming, Gremlin. Yui, Scarlet, Owie, and I laugh. At times like this, having to move life lifter after Terra around was critical. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. She was trembling. Violet, are you? Please, God, don't let this be true. Violet uh, came to her knees and sobbed with her hands against her face, rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder against the floor, causing papers inside to scatter through the room. Nothing is okay, Stickles, you here. It doesn't matter if I get out of this island or not. 
I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to. No one to stand by me. There's nothing for me either way. Violet, wait. She ran to the stairs or stopped that goes through the staircase to the left. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might need some time alone, stay close to here. I didn't mean to look, but after her paper scattered out of the door, my maybe you should just read it. Yui handed me the papers that were in Violet's file. Violet Valentine is a special case. Otherwise unremarkable, she's the daughter of Edgar and Vane Valentine, one of our primary investors. It is my understanding that they have recently had a son and want for him to be the next heir after Violet passed. Edgar and Vane sent the remaining daughter, Violet, to us, full well knowing that she would show what and tell. They paid us an incredible sum to make sure that she does not return from the show. Even for me, this is too cruel. It was too hard to keep reading. I closed the folder and then stared open mouth at Yui. There was no words. Dude, that's fucked. I knocked the violet's door later the night, but there's no use. Please, just leave me alone, stick with you here. I'm sorry, Violet. Even if she opened the door, I would have no idea what it was supposed to say. What could anyone say? I was wrong. It's not only up from here. There's a long way down. Don't you dare say she kills herself. Don't. We ain't doing this shit again. We did it with Doki Doki. <clears throat> um, it's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep well last night. I was sleep well. Who could after what happened? And just like that, we're on to day three. I gotta thank you, Stickers, you here. Hey, Stickers, you here? You're making my job easy. I actually get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that. However, what that works. You. You alright? You lost it out of usual energy. Careful, Stickles, you here. Once the lip up and cat is all over. I'm good. Thanks, Chad. Just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyways, as you guys are saying that you is definitely a contender for the final ceremony, hmm? Of course. A woman like Yui, anyone would be lucky to have her. Damn straight! Though she's very different from the kind of woman that's currently, you got a tough choice down the road. Though you also got a tough choice to make right now. It's not lucky girl today. So, should I be asking her a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should ask Violet. Really? You think she's in any shape to put on a good show? I mean, we all need. We need all of us to be able to work together well to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to until she's feeling better. What better way to do that than for a date to make you feel special? Tara? Tara does have a great point. I always make great points. She like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. Oh, I remember that. Wait, I was a zombie. That was not a good idea at all. Did I take back my vote? Why don't you let stick with you here? I like that idea. We should kill two birds with one stone. Hey! Well, I mean, I do kill birds. I'm sure there's something that we could help us escape. That we could only do on a date with Violet. Mm-hmm. I got it! Tomorrow you're going on a date with Violet. Here's what you're going to do. One, set the dynamite in her bra. Second, explode it. Third, clap. It'll be raining blood. Violet, I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request, though. What's that? It will give me ratings? I think it will. I think it will. Then let's hear it. I've noticed Violet being a little down lately, so I want to cheer her up. I heard that she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cooked with the staff, with the staff at noon? I don't see right now. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Stickers are here. Why did you bring me here? I'm, a, I'm in a better predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not, but the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging about that they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I've tried the food you've made before. I know nobody else has come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to a competition in your name. You are ridiculous, Tickles, you here. Violet laughed out loud. That was a good smile I love so much. It was so nice to see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of... In a few hours, hundreds of staffs are going to come here. Some of them are challenging cooks. Some of them as judges. The rest of them cooking for lunch. 
All of them, all of them hungry. Think you're up for the challenge? I am ready for crush the opposition. They rule the day they challenge me. That's the violet I like to see. Anyways, what's the theme of the concept? I can't tell just yet, but it'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Sorry, I did not mean to read that line. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare for the festivities? Of course, Violet. Thank you, Stickles, you're here. Stickles, you're here? I know you're doing this, and I, I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happy already knowing that you're looking out for me. I'm always going to be here for you. And for you as well, Stickles, you're here. Stickles, you're here? We spent the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things. Completely unrelated to the show. Completely unrelated to anything and the consequences. Wow, the editor's getting bad. Sometimes when the bad things happen, you just need to make the most of semblance of normalcy. By the time noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filling up the kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but if I will if I have to. Oh, you're challenging me? Like a snail, challenging a mighty eagle. I will have my respect. Eve, is it too late to change sides? We're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that, too? What I meant to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. Damn it, bros, we can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's already won. Say something, boy. We will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and five. Come at me. Let us brandish our forks against each other. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? I do hope you are entertaining me, brothers. Violet raised a pan towards them. Let us begin. It is time for the cook-off and to end all cook-offs. Each cook will cook their own version of a mystery dish. A dish that I will soon reveal as the first time ever. It just would be everyone who is not a contestant. You, you, mu you must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How could we ever feed everybody? That's not my problem. And I definitely didn't come up with the rules of this tournament on the spot. Liar. I laugh once more. That was enough to keep the charade going. The mystery dish will be spaghetti and meatballs. Like taking candy from a baby. Not this one again? Oh god, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapse on the ground. One down, but to go. Bro! I knew we should have encountered. Why are we fooling ourselves? You each have one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin! The contestants, that were still conscious, rushed off to gather ingredients. How are they going to make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure out something out. I watched each of them cook furiously at the breakneck speed. But it was hard at work, sweating, steaming down her face with the biggest smile I had seen at of all day. I couldn't help but smile as well. At the same time, Forrest was trying to cook his spaghetti with only a microwave. I'm not sure this will be much of a contest. One minute left. Bio filled hundreds of laid out bowls of spaghetti and meatballs. In a matter of moments, if you blinked, you'd miss her finish a whole row. Each looked delicious and artistic. You would have to thought... A cook would have spent much longer than an hour putting each of them together. I settled on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they stampeded into the laid out bowls. You're practically salivating. After everybody wolfed down the bowls from each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. People have spoken. And with a resounding majority, our first, our first ever winner of the best chef in the island in the middle of nowhere award is... Violet! The crowd cheered, and myself included. I did it! Me! I did it! Jada jumped up and down with joy. Felt like the kid in the candy store just from one look at her. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I ever had. No, huh. Though you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously? It's been years since we had real food. That's that's supposed to mean. Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I had it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro! Vio and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of uproar's applause. Violet, 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 Violet! Oh goodness, hey, you're all too kind. Put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you've got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. I, Violet leaned in for a kiss to me on the lips. 
For a moment, time stood still, and the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet, Violet, Violet! We all laughed together. I've had so much fun today, Stickles, you Stickles, you're here. Thanks to you. Care to join? Join me by the beach after we clean this place up. Wouldn't miss it for anything. The world would pale in comparison. Hey. She reached her hand out of mine and held hers tight in return. Hey, Violet. You really gave them a great show today, you know? I couldn't have done it without a some drama television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really? Really, I. I'm so grateful to you. Stickles, you here. Last night, finding out what my parents did, I it was the lowest point I'd ever been to. I had a hand even tighter. Honestly, I, I didn't see a way out. Escaping out or not, everything seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that even without them, I still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are incredible, Violet. And that's all you. With you? I mumbled with something under the breath. Sorry, what was that? Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd like me better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I hope you do join me on that cruise. She kissed me again. I felt like magic. Violet, I. She put her finger against my lips. Shh. I know. It's not quite the time for this conversation yet. Please do remember that I've said. And when it is all over, do you mind if we walk for just a little longer? I, I don't want this to end. I like a, I'd like to walk with you as long as you wanted to. We can walk till the sun comes up, and we can talk about anything and everything. So, how about we start the planning our cruise together? It would be lovely. We walked together to the end of night. It was nothing less than magical. This after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you, hope you two enjoyed your day today. I'm sorry to interrupt, but this time we got our show on the road. Allie took a massive key from her pocket, ran it around the ring and her finger, then put it on the locked door. Yeah, and we're in. She turned to the lock and then pulled the door open. Whoa, the door is a little heavier than I thought it would be. Was it soundproof or something? Whatever, let's go. Oh man, it's not another staircase. Or not, oh man, not another staircase. They would have saved so much money if they just put this on the main floor. But there would be a secret then, would it? Shake a secret. That's behind a locked door. I guess you are, I guess you have a point. Though there was another staircase that was nearly long as the one in the lab. We'd been walking down the step for only a few moments when we saw where they led. This has to be it. This has to be it. What's it? Oh, my cat told me that all the information all that was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, that's bullshit. There's an able organization intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have internet. I think we just found the way into the closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. Like an understatement. But the information in here could change the tide of the war. It could offer resistance a real fighting chance, I think. But there's more than that, too. What do you mean? My dad, mom, and brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was... That was the real reason I came here. The only reason I risk everything I... What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What if... Allie... Uh, Yui ran Allie's side and hugged her tightly. It's gonna be okay. You believe in me, right? She took a deep breath. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm okay. I'm okay now. Thanks, Yui. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. Looked to Violet and Allie paired for the turn on the computer. And they looked as concerned as I did, and we didn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be a little too smoothy. I'm not giving up just yet, though. She tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but nothing seemed to work. Damn it. I bet only Damien or Calvin know this, and there's no way we could just ask them. Signs fell upon the room. You can't end up like this. It just can't. I got an idea. Not going to fall for wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've been better at using that. What? I mean the shades. I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. I can make something that can try all the possibilities for a password. 
It could just take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many times, but eventually I'd get a password. No, there, there's no guarantee we'd get the answer before the show was over. It's a lot better of a show than I, we have. Oh, he ran over Terry and hugged her tightly. Thank you. You're awesome, little you. Uh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us can try to figure out what his password has been. That reminds me. I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. I have an escape plan. Really? I mean, I get it. Like, no copyright, but like... Bro, I feel like I'm watching Think Noodles now, dude. What the fuck? Oh, God. I forgot that bitch's intro. Oh, uh, I'll do it right now. Um, I have our escape pen. She took out a master key and held it for us to see. There's a hidden hangar out on the beach. It's a little further from here. I first found a plane. Now that we have its key, I think we know how it works. We can use it to save the hangar security command here. I'm flying in. Get the hell out of here. Directly jump for joy. I can't. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. Clear well, soon, but just now, not just yet. There's no raging. There's no way we're getting anywhere tonight. It's all be all on the ground. If there's clear signs tomorrow night. So we'll be. What about the computer? What about the computer? Don't you need to clock it before we go? Yeah. What about our family? Well, that'd be ideal case. But honestly, I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys and <laughs> if it is more important to save the people I care about than right in front of me, then she's a pipe dream. Reference to a prison movie. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes, I'd be looking for my brothers and I just gave up looking for them. I'd regret it forever and now you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. You eat. You eat speaks for us too. You have family that you clearly care about. We cares about you too. You can't give up on that. We're not going. We're not going anywhere until we collect the gold. Even if it takes us the last day. You guys. No, I can't allow it. I don't want to take the chance of your lives. I'm not back. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Shuckles here? We need to take this chance. I think you need this. Hey. Yeah. Guys, guys. Take a chill pill for a second. <laughs> I'm programming God. Best of the best. I'm going to have that goat crack by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys so much, really. What are you thinking? Why are you thinking all of us? I'm the one who tries to write the code and shit. We laughed together, something that I thought might have been impossible after initial bad news. We're in this together and we're getting out of it together. No one gets left behind. Les resistance, live on. After we called it a night, I laid in bed deep in thought. Who would have thought I was ended up feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We've got this. We. Stickles are here. One more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and... Oh, no. I got no idea. No, 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 no. I do not like where this is going. How to do this, because... I remember that all I know about hacking our videos of people trying... Been really fast and saying, I'm in, and... Gah! I practically flew in my bed. Thank God it was just a nightmare. What does it take to get a good night's rest in a killer dating show? Come on. And eternal darkness. What are you smiling about? Yesterday's date with Violet. This is things great going my way. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling as giddy as a little kid. Oh shit. Um, but yeah, it might be making me feel giddy, but we gotta end the episode at some point. So yeah. I hope you guys have a super fantastic, wonderful day. Be polite, be efficient. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I forgot how long I've been recording. And yeah. Next time should be the final episode for the second time in a row, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.